In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize the product pages for each one of your products. This is an option that SureCard gives you. If you want a product page to be auto-generated for all of your products, the option is there. And I'll show you how to customize the design. Here's one of the designs. This is probably what it's going to look like out of the box for you. But you can customize it and you can make new ones and apply them to specific products. But here is one on this website. And here's another website and uh, you can see the difference with this product is there's multiple payment options for it. Now on this one here, we can customize it like I've been sharing. I could put a white background if I wanted to. I can access my themes options in order to customize the page layout however I want. But SureCart's going to give you this flexibility. So first, let's take a look at how you create a product how you choose the product template, and then how you customize the product template. Now, the link to each of your products is going to be your website's name slash products slash what then what's called the slug, and you can customize that bit. But you can also customize the products bit. This is a little on the technical side. It's something called permalinks. So on your website, if you go to settings, there's this option here. It says permalinks, and you can see when you scroll down some options from SureCart. So these are the product permalinks, and it gives you an example here of what it's going to be. The domain name slash products slash the slug or sample product or whatever the product name is and you can customize this part but you can also customize this part if you wanted so right here it says custom base right now it says products if you wanted this to say something else you can click on custom base change that and then click on save changes and then the links to your products will be different. But for me, I'm just leaving it on the default one, but I know some advanced users are gonna want to know how to do this. So now let's go and create a brand new product from scratch. I'll go to SureCart, I'll click on products, then I click on add new. And the first thing you'll be asked to do is to give the product a name. Once you give it a name, you'll click on create. And you essentially just fill in all of the pieces of information here that need to be filled in. So this is going to be your product name right here. You can enter a product description right here. You can add multiple images. Then you would add a price and a product can have more than one price. For example, if you want to have a payment plan or if you wanted to also have a subscription component to a product for maybe a subscribe and save type of situation, you can add multiple prices. And there's also integrations. These would be the same site integrations, downloads. And then down here, you can also customize the search engine schema. So when Google visits your page, what is it going to show in the results. You can customize the page title or the meta description. If you don't customize this, it's just going to choose for the page title, the product name, and then for the meta description, it's going to take the description up here. Then off to the right, there's some additional options. I'll start from the bottom and go up. So for tax and shipping right here, if the product needs to have tax, uh, if it's requiring shipping, you toggle that on as well. Now, here are our publishing options. So status means the status of the product page. You don't have to have a product page for a product, depending on how you're using SureCart. So by default, it'll be in draft, or if you click on publish, then a product page will be publicly seen on your website and also on the product grids. Then right here is the product in stock. Is it purchasable? Is it unavailable for purchase? Then the template, and I'm going to show you this part here in a second. That's where we'll spend most of the time in this video. And then this URL slug, that's what I was saying, where you can control the URL to the product page. So it's your website's domain slash products slash. And by default, it's going to fill in the product name like this, but you can customize it to whatever you want. So let's take a look at this one product here fully filled out. So I'll click on edit product and you can see how I have filled this out. So I've got just one image. If there's more than one image here, it will appear in a gallery on the front end. 
And you can see I have multiple prices all filled out. You can rearrange them by clicking on these tabs and sliding them up or down. So if I wanted this to be the first one, it would be like that. But this is how I have it. And then your integrations. And you can see I have this all set to publish and everything. That's why when I click on view product, you can see the product page like this. Now let me show you how to customize this design right here to look how you want it to look, to be ordered the way that you want it to be ordered. It's very simple. So I'll click on edit product. And then right here where it says template, you can see it says default. Now here are some options and it's going to look slightly different depending on the type of WordPress theme that you're using. 99.9% .9 of people are using a normal theme and it's going to look like this. You're going to get an option for the page layout. You're going to get an option for the template like this. But there are some people using what's called a block based theme. This site here is using a block based theme. So I'll click on edit product and you'll see when I click for template, it looks a little different. It just asks you what template you want. So in this case, it would just say default template. But if you want to customize the template, it's the same for both. There's this little link here that says edit template. But I also want to show you this icon here. Now this was the same on both. And essentially, I know my mouse cursor is hiding it. It says add template. So you can create a custom template. So when you click on this, it just asks you to give it a name. Now I'm just naming this custom products. You can name this whatever you want. So if you wanted to create a custom template for certain categories of your products, you can you can do that. You can uh, do this however you want. I have custom products chosen. Let me click save first because I created that new template. And now I'm going to go in and click on edit. And it's going to take us into this different experience here where you can customize how you want this to look. So let's expand out the list view here and uh, see everything that makes up this custom product template here and show you the things that you can customize. So each of these you're going to be able to click into. There's going to be options for spacing and padding. There's going to be some styling options, just like everything else inside of Surecart. For example, right here is the product price choices. So if your product has more than one price, how do we want this to show? Currently, it's set to show into two columns, but you can customize this all that you want. Uh, you can choose the display here to show or hide the price. You can change this text label. Everything is customizable. There's little options in all of these. For example, I clicked into the product quantity. You can change that word quantity. I can click right here to the add to cart. You can change this to add to basket if that's the lingo that you use on your website. There's styling options here. It's going to pull its styling from your WordPress theme, but you can override it if you want. You can change some of the padding and styling. You have lots of different options here. So the same goes for each of these elements. You can fully customize out to be exactly how you want it to be. As well as the column, I can click here on the column and I can adjust paddings if I wanted to in spacings. You can even, I believe, just drag and drop this up here and I just flipped it. So now my information's on the left and the image is there on the right. And there's lots of options that are might not be so obvious. So see how I've clicked on the column? And when I go down here, check this out, there's a sticky option. So if the height of the images is taller than the height of the information, I can make this stick as the user is scrolling through the images, which is very nice. So you just enable sticky and then you can have a post offset like that. Uh, you can even for the column say I don't want it top aligned. I can go right here and align it all to the middle and now it'll all appear in the middle when someone's on the page. And um, the media has options here as well. How many thumbnails you want to show or do you want the images to have auto height. There's lots of different things that you can do here to get the product page to look exactly how you would want it to look. So once you've customized this to your liking, simply click right here 
click on save, and now this is saved. So I don't usually click on the logo to go back. I'll go like this and go in the back arrow. Uh, and the reason I do this is because it will take me right back to where I was, which is right here. So now uh, this product right here was the one that we were looking at. I now have the custom product template that I just made. When I click on view product, you're going to see it looks a little different, right? I now have all the content on the left and the image on the right. So that is the custom templates. You can choose the one that you want. And depending on your WordPress theme, it might offer inside of the customizer some page layout options. So this site has the Astra theme on it. Let me show you that. So for the page layout, I'm gonna choose theme layout right here. Let's click on save product. Let's view the product and this is how it looks. So I'm going to go into the customizer and this is theme dependent. So this is what Astra has. I know some of the more popular themes work exactly the same. I'm going to click on where it says custom post types. It says shortcut products and then right here, single shortcut product. And it gives me page layout options right here. One of them is a page title. So if I toggled this on, it creates this page title area and I could go in here. So ba basically for the page title, it's going to be the product name. Uh, and I can go right here and customize this. If I wanted a different uh, background color to that, style it up some, I can do that very easily right here. And then there's also container options here. If I wanted to add a sidebar to all of these product pages. We have these options all here and these are coming from the WordPress theme. And just keep in mind the changes you make here are gonna apply to all of your products. So if I click on publish, this title area here is gonna appear on all of my products, but you might want this. You put it here, then you'd customize the product template to remove the heading here. Since it's up there, you probably wouldn't need it here and you could just show the price and that would be perfectly fine. Now here's the other website that's using the site editor theme, which does everything inside of the block editor. And so the only difference is this doesn't give you the product page template that you saw on the other site, uh, but everything else works the same. You would go here, you would choose uh, edit template, and it's gonna take me straight on into the same editor uh, right here. And I, the only difference is I actually see it inside of my theme with the header and the footer, but you would just click in here and start customizing it all that you want. And so that's how you can have fully customized product pages to look exactly how you want them to look. And you can have some variations to them. You can have as many product page templates as you want, and you can start doing some really creative things in there with the layout. It's all up to you.